The reason I came to Turkey really was because I had been teaching in a lot of different places, but Turkey was the first place I taught in, and then I decided to come back here, basically because I like the people and I like the climate, so uh, I came back to, uh, to do some teaching, do some writing. I've been teaching uh, English for a long time, it's specialised English teaching, it's not general, so it's like teaching English for business and English for finance mainly, and communication skills that go with that, so uh, how to have a meeting in English, but in a financial situation. And every time I came to do teaching, I stayed a little bit, maybe had a holiday or, you know, saw a bit of Turkey. And actually, my husband was a friend of someone who I met when I first came to Turkey, uh, a Canadian uh, guy, and um, he was a friend of his, so uh, I saw him quite a lot. Every time I came, he was around, and eventually we met, so uh, that was it. I mean, obviously, uh, culture plays a really important role in a relationship between you know, people, two people from very different cultures and probably that is the, uh, those differences are the core, real cause of any kind of conflict and one of them can be the difference in language for example we communicate in Turkish and Turkish has a very imperative form when you uh, say you know make some tea uh, and it can sound very much like a command which in English, as you know, is a very polite language. We'd say, could you make some tea? So sometimes you can get the feeling that someone's commanding you to do something. In fact, they're just saying it in the normal way. There's definitely uh, some prejudice against Turkey, particularly the, the European perspective that they're always saying the Turks need to change. But I think from a cultural point of view, you can't really say Turkish culture has to change to be more Western. I mean, you know, you can't say that's the thing when people talk about cultural difference. It doesn't mean that this culture is somehow better than this culture. You can't say that the, one culture is better than the other, or it should be like this. Cultural difference just means that uh, you know we have different ways of doing stuff. If you say they are differences, they become even more different. The key is to find a way to change you, the way you are personally a little bit, and for the other person also to try and change themselves, so that it makes it easier to communicate. So the key is in the, in the communication, and a slight shift in the way you communicate means that you can meet the other culture. people would learn a bit of Turkish, they would understand so much more about Turkish people immediately. If you just learn 10 phrases in Turkish, you will understand so much more about Turkish people. In Turkish families, there, I mean, there are some great things. The support mechanism. You always have somebody to call and they will help you in the family. The, you know, the, the brotherhood is very strong and the sisterhood is very strong too. There's a kind of uh, unspoken agreement that you, you phone a, if I phone my sisters in law, I know they will help me, whatever happens, they'll be there. And the same with my husband's brothers. Whereas in England, uh, to show you the other side of the coin, if I phoned people in the middle of the night and said I've arrived at the airport and there's no bus, they just say, take a taxi or something, you know, or don't call me, why are you calling me at three in the morning? So there are a lot of good things about it, you know, especially the hospitality and the, the just support mechanism that is there. You know. Turkish marriages in, the, in this area, in the village, if you say a village marriage, um, what I've noticed about them is that the men and the women don't actually spend a lot of time together. And I think in Western environment, we 
our friends as well as lovers and, and partners with, with our husbands or wives or whatever. And whereas here, the men really live in the men, men's world and the women live in the women's world. So the women will go out and have tea and cook with the you know, women friends. And the men will go to their garage and sit and have tea and whatever. But there, to me, there is a huge gap there in, in communication because um, you know they have children together, they eat together, but there are there seems to be something missing in the, in their closeness or communicate real communication between uh, men and women. are going through a lot of changes in their minds and you know uh, in terms of what they'd like to do perhaps those changes haven't been made yet but it's the first step is that people start to think about things or start, people start, start to recognize what they would like so that's the first stage that before they can have that change uh, they have to uh, have the idea of where they want to go and what they'd like to do so uh, you know women are yeah, it, you know, it attracts me, the whole idea of uh, just finding out more about what's going on in their minds and, you know, how they see things. <laughs>